so friends good evening very good evening as i so i will not take much of your time today and uh, just want to show you one utility component in b2b commerce uh, in salesforce lighting experience so as uh, friends you can recall that i have explained you the how to create a basic salesforce b2b commerce website in lightning experience in my last video and all the components were this standard components means that the salesforce have provided which salesforce have provided to us so i told you that we need not go into customization as of now if you are uh, if you are basically starting your commerce journey from the beginning but uh, i have uh, but uh, now uh, i want to sh let me share my screen yes now so see now what i am going to show you in this video is this is my youtube commerce website jubli website that i have shown you in my last video so everything is basically the standard which you are seeing the standard components all right so nothing is customized here but sometimes in your project not sometimes is basically every time we need to customize some or the other thing so uh, as you can see that uh, this is the category all products and i am able to see the all products now and if i further want to segregate my products then i have categorized in the subcategories called earrings necklace bracelets pendants and you will only be able to view those those products which fall in that category of necklace and chains like this so what i am going to show you now is that uh, you can uh, i have created a this is the product listing page also called plp in short and once you click on any product you will get navigated to the product detail page also called the pdp in short all right but friends what today i am gonna show you is that this is the standard component product detail page which i have showed you in my last video and so but as you can see if you increase the quantity or decrease the quantity, the price remains the same. That is the base price of that product is $700. It will not increment here. But suppose sometimes you might get a use case that the client says, no, I want to see the updated price as you increase or decrease the quantity on my PDP only before going to the card page, card detail page, or maybe before going to the checkout. All right, so what I have done is I have created a custom lighting web component which will exactly works like the same way uh, the standard component is plus the additional features. So if you add to cart, it will add to the cart. If you want to add to list, it will proceed to add to the wish list, which I will explain you in my next video, but it is working. So I don't want to confuse you right now with these two things. Let us. Uh, but let us work only with the add to cart button functionality right now but this has been already implemented here so let me scroll down so you can see this is my this is my uh, custom lighting web component which is exactly the same you can see as above and there is nothing standard in it everything is customized there are various apex classes various lighting web components that I have written to achieve this functionality. This seems to be easy, but this is not so easy. You can try it yourself. So now what uh, I want to show you is that in the standard component, if you increase or decrease, the price remains same in the PDP. But if in this is my custom component, NWC component, if you increase or decrease the quantity, the price automatically gets updated according to the quantity, right? And if I select suppose quantity here zero in this box, then it will show me the error and add to cart button gets disabled. Similarly, in my custom LWC, if I select, if I enter zero, it will 
F so everything is zero and the add to cart button is disabled. But if I increase it by using this plus sign, you can see that it will automatically start increasing and the add to cart button gets enabled. And also if you don't want, suppose you want five quantities, you don't want to press plus sign five times or maybe higher quantities, you can simply enter in this text box and you can see the price gets updated here. And if you want to, if you click this add to cart button, you will get the notification. Yes. And you can view the card. And once you view the card, you will see that the five quantities of that product are updated in the card retail page. Yes. Along with the updated price, the base price is $700. And if you want to further decrease it, it will you will see the updated price for into 700 is 2800 and i will be successfully able to proceed to check out yes so that's what i want to show you friends that you can customize each and everything in salesforce that's the beauty of that uh, salesforce so uh, don't worry you can start if you are new to commerce cloud just start with the base components standard components only and Subsequently, once you get some confidence, then you can proceed with the customization. So I have done almost many customizations. Like you can see this custom breadcrumb also I have customized, custom header I have customized. I am not showing you right now here, but I have done a lot of customizations in B2B Commerce Cloud. So, so uh, uh, don't get panic and just go step by step and uh, you will be able to proceed successfully so uh, that's all for now uh, let me show you the code uh, just a brief overview uh, so you can see um, this is the lighting components like lwc's product details this is the html this is the js of the product details it's it is quite big and this is the product is this details display the child component which is getting called from product details the parent component this is the html and this is i all the code is written by me only i have not copied from anywhere so you can see the custom component on internet maybe the github but these are this is a slightly different thing which i have created on my own there are few things which also don't work on that GitHub code, custom components, product details and product details display. But in this my component, everything will be working exactly 100% uh, and correct. Okay. So this is the, these are the LWCs and these are the classes. So there are a lot of classes. I will not show you right now. You will get confused. All right. So that's all for now. I will post the code in the comment section or maybe I will upload it on the GitHub soon. All right then. Thanks a lot and have a good day and take care. All right. Thank you.